a percent yield problem should be completed exactly like a regular stoichiometry problem, except you'll do one additional step at the end. Percent yield is a comparison between the theoretical yield and the actual yield. The theoretical yield is how much product you could make in theory. The actual yield is how much product you actually made. The theoretical yield will always be larger than the actual yield. Let's take a look at an example that might take place in your kitchen. Let's say you want to make 10 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So you bought enough materials to make 10 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So the most you could make, in theory, would be 10 sandwiches. But let's say you accidentally messed up on a few, maybe you dropped some, and you really only made 7. Well, the percent yield would be a comparison between how much you theoretically could have made, which was 10, and how much you actually made, which was 7. So the formula for percent is just like it always is, part over whole. This is the number you actually made, 7. And this is the number you could have made, in theory, 10. So in this case, your percent yield for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches would be 70%. Rather unimpressive. Let's take a look at a real example. When rust reacts with powdered aluminum, enough heat is released to produce molten iron. This reaction, called the thermite reaction, was once used to weld railroad tracks. Here's the rust. If you react the rust with powdered aluminum, of course you need a little fuse or some heat to get this going. It'll react to make liquid iron and aluminum oxide. And of course it will release a lot of heat in the process, enough heat to make this iron a liquid. And then this liquid iron will drip down and it will weld the railroad tracks together. Calculate the percent yield if the reaction of 300 grams of rust produces 190 grams of iron. So they've given us two numbers here. One of the tricks will be to discern which is our given and which is our actual yield. So calculate the percent yield if the reaction of 300 grams of rust produces 190 grams of iron. So how much we're actually producing is 190 grams of iron. What we're starting with, or are given, is 300 grams of rust. So let's go ahead and calculate, theoretically, how much iron we could make, and then we'll compare it to 190, which is how much we actually made. So use 300 grams of rust as you're given. Complete the stoichiometry problem as usual. And the number you come up with um, should have three sig figs. And this, this is theoretically how many grams of iron you can make if everything goes according to plan. But you know that things don't always go according to plan. And instead of making 210 grams, we only made 190. So let's do the actual divided by the theoretical times 100. And we'll see that our percent yield for this thermite reaction was 90.5%.